Welcome back to the AI Breakdown Brief, all the AI headline news you need in five-ish minutes or less. Today, we kick off with a number of discussions in the open source realm. First of all, focusing on a policy perspective. Now, so far, the most comprehensive AI legislation anywhere in the world is the EU's AI Act. A draft of the act has been voted upon, but there is still some amount of room for dialogue, negotiation, and changes. One set of changes that some are advocating for is for more openness to open source in that legislation. A coalition of open source companies, including Hugging Face, GitHub, Creative Commons, and more, have released and shared with the EU a policy paper titled Supporting Open Source and Open Science in the EU AI Act. The aim, they say, is to, quote, ensure that open AI development practices are not confronted with obligations that are structurally impractical to comply with or that would be otherwise counterproductive. The executive summary of the paper lays out two benefits to EU citizens for thinking about and fostering the open source ecosystem. First, they say the values of sound research, reproducibility, and transparency fostered by open science are instrumental to the development of safe and accountable AI systems. Second, open source development can enable competition and innovation by new entrants and smaller players, including in the EU. Now, rather than just a general position, the paper attempts to give five concrete suggestions for specific changes to the AI Act that would help support and protect open source. The first is to define AI components clearly. The second is to clarify that open source developers would not be subject to the same stringent requirements that closed source developers are. A third is to, quote, support the AI office's coordination and inclusive governance with the open source ecosystem building on the parliament's text. A fourth is to ensure the R&D exception is practical and effective. And a fifth is to set proportional requirements for foundation models, recognizing and distinctly treating different uses and development modalities. The proposal has been met with a lot of positivity. Tim Sweeney, the CEO and founder of Epic Games, tweeted, protecting open source is vital for the future of AI and keeping its foundations open. Now, when it comes to the discussion of open source, one of the areas where it gets thorny, particularly in U.S. policy circles, is with the question of China. All the way back in November, Protocol wrote a piece called Will Nationalism End the Golden Age of Global AI Collaboration? The subheader reads, Until now, the borderless open source software movement that has helped bring together AI developers and tech from the U.S. and China has risen above geopolitical tensions. Could national security crackdowns tear it apart? Now, certainly throughout this year, as AI has gotten more and more on the policy agenda, it has converged with broader U.S.-China policy in ways that are definitely more competitive than cooperative. For example, back at the end of June, the Wall Street Journal posted a piece about how the U.S. was considering even further prohibitions on AI chip exports to China. Many of those prohibitions already existed, but the WSJ reported that the Biden administration was considering even further limits on AI chip exports, effectively prohibiting companies from selling to China at all. It seems every week there's another big op-ed like this one from July in the New York Times. Biden is beating China on chips. It may not be enough. So, of course, with this as the backdrop, it all made the news that Alibaba would be supporting Meta's new Llama 2 model for clients all the more intriguing. There are a couple interesting notes about this. First of all, this is based on Meta's new Llama 2 model, which has a commercial license available to it. They launched Llama 2 with Microsoft as their preferred partner, but are making it available to other companies around the world as well. Second, it's interesting because Alibaba has been developing its own AI models as well. Reuters explained why, from a business standpoint, both of these companies might be excited about this move. They write, The U.S. has been actively looking to restrict Chinese companies' access to many U.S.-developed technologies related to AI, particularly in the area of AI semiconductors. The Llama 2 move would allow Alibaba to further its own AI ambitions by keeping abreast of the latest developments in the technology. For Meta, whose Facebook social media platform has for years been banned in China along with other Western platforms, it could bring closer ties with the world's second biggest economy. That is, of course, if this doesn't get caught up in the political dragnet. AJ Button tweeted this morning, Alibaba Cloud gets access to Meta's Llama 2. The LLM empowers Chinese businesses to build generative AI apps. Will this be blocked by Biden and co.? Speaking of markets, yesterday we had earnings calls from Microsoft and Google, and big surprise what the main theme was, it was, in fact, AI. AI, AI, and AI, 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 Somebody needs to turn that into a song, and I'm going to have nightmares tonight. That said, based off our count from both calls, Microsoft and Alphabet executives said AI, or a version of that, 145 combined times. 
Jokes aside, both companies report that they are going to invest heavily. We're talking billions and billions of dollars into this area, suggesting that at least for the big tech giants, this is not some passing fad. Meanwhile, when it comes to mainstream consciousness of AI, there continues to be a significant amount of focus on the Hollywood strikes, including both the Screen Actors Guild and the Writers Guild of America. Today, we saw a number of Breathless articles castigating Netflix for listing AI jobs that paid up to $900,000 as the strike was ongoing. The Intercept writes, As Hollywood executives insist, it is, quote, just not realistic to pay actors, 87% of whom earn less than $26,000 more, they are spending lavishly on AI programs. While entertainment firms like Disney have declined to go into specifics about the nature of their investments in artificial intelligence, job postings and financial disclosures reviewed by The Intercept reveal new details about the extent of these companies' embrace of the technology. In one case, Netflix is offering as much as $900,000 for a single AI product manager. The job listing in question is for a product manager machine learning platform, and the description does give some amount of information about how they view machine learning and AI in the context of their company. They write, with more than 230 million members in over 190 countries, Netflix continues to shape the future of entertainment around the world. Machine learning and artificial intelligence is powering innovation in all areas of the business, from helping us buy and create great content, helping members choose the right title for them through personalization, to optimizing our payment processing and other revenue-focused initiatives. Now, as you might tell, nothing in that description seems to suggest that this is about creating a new way to develop programming that would replace the traditional process of, you know, having a writer and a director and an actor. But I don't think that those details matter so much as the culture war aspect that has taken hold in this particular circumstance. It continues to feel to me like this particular strike is the first resurgence of labor organization in a post-ChatGPT world, but I have no doubt that it will not be the last. Anyways, guys, that is going to do it for today's AI Breakdown Brief. If you're enjoying the AI Breakdown, do me a favor and tell one friend. Whatever one friend you think would get the most value out of this sort of daily news around artificial intelligence, go let them know about the show. I love growing this community organically, and I appreciate all of your guys' contributions to that. Thanks as always for listening or watching, and I'll be back soon with the main AI breakdown.